Hello everyone, welcome again and today I am going to show you a demo of the another project in Spring and Hibernate and the project name is Online Movie Ticket Booking System and let's talk about the technologies and it's using MVC, Spring MVC and uh, to manage the architecture of the project and it's using Hibernate as a backend connection and Tomcat server to run the application and the POM are like that's uh, using pom.xml and maven tool to manage the dependencies of the application so let's run it over my tomcat server and see how it's working and what is the demo and functionalities are there so this is my home page and before dive into this directly let's understand a little bit about the database so we are using as a backend mysql database to store the data and here we have a table movie ticket sp and into the user table we have mainly two roles the first one is an admin and the second role will be the user or the customer so uh, there are a different different functionalities are there and user can add a theater so if uh, as an admin if you wanna it's lo currently it's logged in as an admin so let's say this will be your home page let's say this will be your home page and here you have option to search uh, and just search by name search by cd uh, also these are the theater list so this theater also coming from the database and it might be there should be a theater table so this here, here we have two or two records so it's displaying two record here and when you click on the see movie it will redirect to the, uh, the movie list that are related to that particular theater okay here yeah. okay <clears throat> so now uh, let's log in as an admin and check what admin can perform here so I have that uh, credential into the user table. Uh, if you're gonna see the, the user table, you can see the role ID one will be for the admin. So I'm gonna uh, use this login ID to log in as an admin and similarly password. So I just click on the sign in and I will redirect to the, into the login page, uh, on the home page after logging as an admin. Here we have an option to add theater so if you want to add a theater you can click enter some details here like theater names select theater and select theater types like single screen or multi screen you can choose an image choose an image and you can click on the save button when you click on the save button the data will be displayed under the theater list so it will display here and also a theater list the second module uh, the sub module of the theater so uh, here you can perform all the crude operations like search uh, by city if you have a multiple theater like tens of records are there so if you want to see uh, search by city so you can just enter search and click on the search it will display the record like for example let's perform some practical on that yeah so working and then click on the reset it will be there also we have a new button here so you can create a new theater again you will be direct on this page and you have edit option make sure when you're going to edit the option you need to select image choose image again okay and uh, we have delete option if you want to delete some record just click on this and click on the delete button it will delete, remove the data from there also under the add movies you are going to uh, add a movies so you need to fill some uh, minimum details like theater name and theater testing enter the name of the movie enter some code let's say i'm going to add a dummy data here and it should be displayed there and so enter the four like nine a screen number so i'm going to add like a screen number is six and language director name so let's say i'm going to director demo director and enter the star cost price let's say 250 choose an image and i want to use the image of any movie and click on the save now under the movie list you will see that new record is there as a under the theater testing sending this and the demo director okay now this this record will display the front end also like okay next we have invoice module so under the invoice module you can check all the list of the invoice and we have a search option here you can check all the list here okay uh, we have my profile so you can admin as an admin you can update your profile as well and you can use a change password also let's log out as an admin and now go to and 
uh, operate application as a user as a customer so let's say i'm a customer and i want to book a movie ticket from here so i'm gonna choose this movie and you can see this theater under this theater we have this movies and now if i want to book a movie i have two options i can directly sign up from here or like if you are a new user you can directly sign up here and then you can log in and then you can book in case if you go directly it will automatically redirect to you over the login page and if you are a new user you need to sign up so uh, there is a simple sign up page so once you have entered all the details you will be able to log in here so for now to save time i'm gonna uh, log in as an existing user so if we have this record in the database and i want to use it as a user name and this as a user password now it will ask me uh, ask to me some question like name uh, like for the user uh, for that you are going to book uh, book the ticket so it's input field because it might be you are going to book a ticket for other user right so let's say i'm a gym and uh, email id so gmail that is gmail.com mobile number 10 digit mobile number so time so we have here so like it's like the 9 pm number of person is equal to 3 and if, when i click on the payment it will redirect to me on the payment page and then i can enter the detail here so enter here ctv number and click on the confirm payment okay the payment is booked successfully the data is added in the database and it will display everywhere okay so uh, as a user i can check my invoice and invoice detail and i can update my profile the change password is there and finally we have a logout so these are the project complete project demo about this uh, online movie ticket booking system so now uh, the main point how can you get the source code so you will you can check the link in a description box just visit that link and read all the detail about the project and what kind of functionality it's using all the things are written there in neat and uh, clear uh, also you can check the price and uh, how can you buy the like there will be you will get the contact details also you can contact on the uh, con contact number uh, over the whatsapp or you can directly mail us at the gmail j code one at the red gmail and you can check the description for the contact so you will get the particular contact and also once you have take the services of that project will provide the remote support to you it means if you are facing any issue during the configuration or if you want to understand the course code will help you and if you are going to prepare for an interview or, or you are going to prepare for the any viva will help you out to uh, learn these things from scratch thank you